Okay, this is the February 9th rehearsal uh, recording for period four. And we're going to do a couple warm ups first. And so, um, girls, go ahead and please stand quickly and uh, follow my directions. I'll wait till it's quiet. I know this is kind of weird with me talking and not being there. But go ahead and stand in position one. Your feet are slightly apart. Your knees are bent. Your chest is tall. Your shoulders are rolled back. And let your hands just kind of rest at your side. Wiggle your knees a little bit. All right, now reach both hands all the way straight up. Straight up in the sky, reach, 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 reach. And grab hands. Grab your own two hands. And lean to your left. And stay there. Five, four, three, two, one. Back up to the top. Okay, and lean to your right. Stay there. Five, four, three, two, one. And re separate hands and reach all the way up to the sky again. And then just let them drop. <clears throat> okay. So go back to that position one. Quickly back to position one. Make sure that head is resting nice and straight on top of your head. And then lean your head to the left. Down towards your toes. Looking at your toes. Your chin should be at your chest. And up to the right. Okay, down towards your toes again. And all the way up to the left. Good. And now bring that head nice and tall. Okay, let's sing a couple warm-ups. The first one is just humming, and we're going to start in your higher voice. So you're just humming, and here's the melody. And we'll do that five times. Please be careful as you're singing the third note. That third note right there is a half step. So you're moving from here <clears throat> to here. And it's a half step. Please make sure you keep it in the bullseye and you keep it in tune. So here we go. Five humming exercises. One, two, three. Again. Okay, good. Okay, so the second warm up sounds like this. Um, here's what it sounds like. So the major triad is in there at the end of this exercise. Please remember what we've been talking about, which is taking that consonant and exploding to the vowel. Again, taking the consonant and exploding to the, the vowel. Do not sing it in a lazy way. Make sure that the N, make sure that your tongue gets all the way to the top of your mouth and you tighten that tongue a little bit to pronounce the N and then get to a nice shaped ooh vowel so that it sounds like this. Okay, also remember lips forward. Whistle shape, lips forward. Here we go. We'll sing this six times. One, ready, breathe.
Okay, so let's go ahead now and take a look at the front board. And you have the major scale that I've written, the major triad that I've written, and the arpeggio. So please focus your eyes on the major scale. And I do want you to sing the major scale using whole notes. Okay, so that's going to be four counts each. And I do want you to use hand motions. Okay, remember the importance of space between the notes. Again, remember the importance of space between the notes, especially on the half steps, especially on the half steps. And if you look on the front board, you should notice that on the major scale, I have underlined where the half steps are. Okay, we've been talking about this all year long, but it's always important to make sure that we're singing the half steps in tune. So we're going to sing the major scale going up or ascending and using whole notes and you're going to make sure that you're using your hand motions. Here we go. Four counts each. One, two, three. Okay, so I'd like us to try the major scale again. This time when you sing the major scale, remember to explode the consonants. Do, re, mi, even the M of me. Again, remember you're exploding the first letter to get to the vowel. Okay, so here we go. Please emphasize and exaggerate the beginning consonant to get to a beautiful vowel or beautiful tone, beautiful tone. Here we go. Four counts each. One and two, breathe. Okay, <clears throat> so now go to the major triad box. And the major triad for this particular example has half, uh, half notes in it. And so we're going to sing them each for two counts. So just sing after me, please. Two counts each. I'm first, you're second. Do, mi, so. Please make sure that the note me is in tune. On the way up, sometimes what we do is sing it too low. And on the way down, sometimes what we do is sing it too high. So please keep it in tune. Here it is again. Do not sing with me. Do, me. Sing your hand mo motions. Ready? And sing. Again, and standing tall, go. One more time. Be careful of the space between your notes. Ready? Here you go. Okay, good. And so the last one here we're gonna do is the arpeggio. It is um, in quarter notes on the board. So please remember as you're using hand motions to keep space between do and me and space between me and sol. You have to leave enough space for the notes that we're leaving out. And then especially when you get to high do, you've gotta leave enough space in your hand motions for la and t. Of course, we're not singing them, but in your imagination, I need you to remember that you're leaving space for those notes that we're not singing in the arpeggio. So I'm first, 
and you'll sing it after me. Do, mi, sol, do, sol, mi, do. And ready? Here you go. Again, and ready, here you go. <sighs> okay, good. Now I'm going to speed the arpeggio up, and so we're going to sing it um, about this tempo. One, two, three, four. And four times in a row, ready, here you breathe. Do, mi, sol, do, sol, mi, do. Again, ready, go. Do, mi, sol, do, sol, mi, do. And hum it this time. Keep using hand motions. Keep the hand motions and sing the real, re uh, the lyrics. Ready, here you go. Excellent. Okay. That's the end of our warm-up. So... I will tell you which song to grab. <laughs>